Okay, guys, this video is about a 2008, I think 2007, is the same. Now, it's about the a starter problem or ch recharging problem. Now, with my story, is riding the bike, everything seemed fine at night time, I guess it was, and took it home, parked it, went to sleep. Next day, tried to start it, it wouldn't start. It seemed like it had a flat battery. As when I tried to start it, the didn't engage. All I heard was a rattling noise, not enough power from the battery going to the start. So I got my battery charger, which is this one. It's for motorcycles, cars, cold start, jump start. Shows the battery if it's bad or not. Anyway, if you want to have a proper look at it. That's what it is. Now, from there, charge the battery up to 12.9 volts, which I, which I checked with the multimeters. It was fine. Connected up the terminals to the bike again, which is over here. Now, it connected the terminals on. But these are off now, as you can see. These were connected back on after the bike has been charged. Got the multimeter which is them again, tested the current, if there was anything going to the battery. It showed nothing. So looking online, I said over 5 RPM or so, the uh, starter should charge or the generator should charge the battery, which I don't know with bikes that much, so I thought, I'll give it a go. Rode around. The whole day was fine until... I turned off the bike, it wouldn't start no more. Walked away five minutes later, come back, the bike started. So, with that there, saying, I'm guessing the battery got its charge back up again, naturally, by itself. Riding home, uh, yeah, riding home, the dash died off. After the dash died off, a couple of Minutes later, the bike turned off. Called a friend for a jump start, jump start the bike, the bike started, but as it started, it sounded a bit rough. Started riding. When I tried to accelerate, which is the accelerator, I tried to accelerate to get speed, it didn't want to react. So it kept on about cruising speed. So from there, it had no acceleration. It was accelerating, but real bad. And finally, once I tried to get it home, I couldn't get it home, so it jump started it again. Just wouldn't want to keep um, starting. Kept the revs up as I was trying to take it home because my friend was saying, Keep the revs up, the bike should uh, pull up on the revs and go for it, and I'll get home. So that didn't happen. So after that, I took out the battery, which is there, took it home, left the bike where it was. Got the multimeter, there again. Tested the battery. Uh, it was showing about four, maybe two and a half volts. Recharged it. Come back to the bike where it kind of died on me. Put it on 12, the battery was showing once I've recharged about 12 volts, 12 uh, and a bit volts, a bit over. Put it on a bike. The bike started again like normal, like there was nothing wrong with it. It was pretty good. Got acceleration, everything else. Then once I've got home, I tested the, the charge with the multimeter. There was nothing showing over 12 volts by testing it on the battery, see if it's charging or not, or the alternator working or not. There was nothing from 12 and over, revved it, nothing. 13, nothing, as they say, 13 or 14 and a half, if it's, I think it was, if it's 15 and over, it's pretty bad uh, resonator, but yeah, there was no charge, so I thought it would be the resonator, which is on a 2008, 2007 R1, I know 2008 will be in here, because it's my bike, 2007, like I said, maybe it'll be the same, it is inside the airbox, which is there, that plug there, I just pulled out, so you show you for later on. So that's the uh, stutter, or sorry, not the stutter, the um, 
resonator changes the current from AC to DC or DC to AC, one of them two. Now, from there I went to YouTube, looked at how to test out this data, which is the generator, which is over here, as you can see, out there. Alright. Now, there, there are the three plugs on a 2008 R1, I think 2007 is the same. It's under air filter in the air box. So that's your uh, resonator rectifier, or what do they call it? That's your plugs from your stator or your generator for testing purposes once you pull it out. And it goes through the frames, wiring, and stuff. And here it is, which is located just on the side where the stand is. That's it there. Uh, so you can see again. So once I've done all the tests and stuff that uh, well, was recommended on YouTube to test your stutter, which are these plugs are here, there was showing no charge. And when I did the retest for the shorting on the casing, uh, in ohms I think it would have been, like I said, just refer back to YouTube, put the one plug, one point off the plug in here, sorry, one point off the uh, multimeter in here, put on the case, it showed I think about four or five ohms or volts, whatever you want to call it. Now once, when you do the test, if this is fine, it's okay, as far as my understanding to date, is you put one, one plug in here, another plug in there, it should show about 14, 15 volts, and then with the whole process A, B, and C, or 1, 2, and 3. So you just keep testing these three plugs, negative, positive, then negative, positive, positive, negative, just alternated. And then from there, like with mine, it wasn't showing no power at all. From there, I ended up, uh, like I said, seeing what it was by YouTube, the editorials, how to or what the videos, how to uh, test your stutter. The stutter again is inside the airbox, not under the seat, not next to the frame. On a 2008, 2007, I suspect it'll be the same. And then, uh, yeah, the other ones, that's your, your stutter. Okay, so that's from there, which I'll show you in a minute where it goes back into. what it should look like once you plug it in. Okay, so that wire there, from here to the side, it goes inside here I guess, and then to your stator. Now, there was showing no charge from this stator, as I've done the test from YouTube, how they show you test your stators. Okay, or generator. And now, what happened was, I did the casing, the covers, and pulled out the bolts, as you can see. That's still there. Okay, that's that's a stator, I guess. There. That's inside. From there, once I pulled it out, these parts here fell out. So be careful. So you know they go back in and come back out how they are. That's what I pull out. Now inside, if we could show you properly. See that's how it looks like inside. But the problem with mine, why it wasn't charging, and I think why it was shorting out to the casing, was because, as I said, once you do those tests on YouTube, how to you test your stator, is because the magnets, which are over here, broke. Once you pull this, part from that part you'll see the magnets shattered and broken and that's the casing I think or where how they hold it like, like if you see bearings how bearings they hold between between there 
because it was supposed to be straight and fixed. Uh, that's basically it really, so that's what I've done. That was my problem, so hopefully it helps you guys out. And also just to add as well, uh, three or four days before I had any issue, I heard a whining noise like a reverse on a manual car uh, from this side of the engine. So go back to YouTube, check out uh, R1 or motorbike whining noise, you'll hear the noise. But mine was mild, but still. And uh, go back to YouTube to do your tests. So your two tests will be charge your battery up, see if it's getting, getting current or not, all that stuff. I guess you work it out once you look online and study a bit about it. Do your tests and mm. yeah, work it out. So with me, for the moment, this is, this is where I got up to. So that's there, that's it. The winding noise was, I guess, from the stutter on the no charge and the broken pieces. So that's what we have here. So hopefully that helps anyway. Anything else, um, I'll put in comments or reply to you guys. Thanks.